Amanda Saladin here and today we are going to be crocheting the classic crochet baby blanket. Just a simple stitch repeat. If you can single crochet and double crochet, you can make this right here with a nice lacy border to give it that classic heirloom feel. So it's a an easy beginner level pattern and I'll walk you through it. So Let's get started. Materials you'll need for this project include five skeins of paint box yarn, Simply Chunky. You can get packs of five of these. I got them all in the same color. And then a size K, six and a half millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, and some scissors. Okay, to begin our project, we're going to chain 72, which I've already done, since I'm sure you don't want to watch me chain 72 um, chains, so 72. And now in the third chain from the hook, I like to crochet into the back of my chain. It's totally a personal preference. One, two, three. You're going to single crochet. chain one, and double crochet. Okay, let's skip the next two chains. Single crochet, and if you've never done a single crochet before, you just insert your hook, yarn over and pull the loop, yarn over and pull through both, and then chain one, so yarn over and pull through, Double crochet, you'll yarn over, insert in the same chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two. Okay, and we're going to repeat this. So skip two, single, chain one. and double, and then skip two chains, and repeat this all the way down to the end. We'll end with a single crochet in our last chain. So when you get to the end, like I said, you will do a single crochet in the last chain, but you'll still have these to skip two. So I just wanted to show you how that would work out. Skip two, and single crochet right here in the end. Okay, and then turn. All right, and this is the row we're just gonna repeat. So it's a single, one row repeat. So easy peasy once you get it going. And you're gonna skip your single crochet here. So you'll, you'll chain one. And we're gonna work right in here in this chain one space. So you have your double from the last row and then a single. So you'll just work the single crochet, chain one, double crochet right in here, and then skip these stitches in the middle. There's the single and the double. We're looking for our space. So you can see it makes kind of a V with the space in the middle. Single, chain one, double. Okay, and we'll just work, continue to work that in each one of these little V shapes. Work your single, chain one, double, all the way down to the end. Every time you get down to the end of a row, you're going to single crochet, or end it with a single crochet right here in the last. So have a single crochet there at the end, and then we will turn, chain one, look for your chain space right here in the middle, and we'll just continue again. You, you skip this, and you just single, chain one, double, and you just repeat the last row all the way down to the end, work that single crochet at the end and turn, and what I did for my blanket 
was I just kept working all the way through four skeins of yarn. I didn't really measure it, honestly. I just worked on my um, number of stitches I had wide. I knew I had five skeins that I had purchased, and so I used four of them for the body of the blanket, and I saved one for the border. Okay, so that's pretty simple, pretty easy to do, and it'll let you know how far you need to go without worrying about like the measurement of it. So just blow through four of those skeins of yarn. And then we'll come back together and do the border. Okay, I've used up four of my skeins. I actually had to join my fifth skein back here just to finish out this row. But now I'm going to stop and we're ready for the border. So I always start out a border um, for the last few years now with a row of single crochet. So we're going to do a round of single crochet. I'm going to actually go ahead and work into our last single crochet now. It loves to not cooperate with me when I'm filming. I love it. And then I'm going to do it in each stitch and chain space all the way across. So just go down to the corner with single crochet and then I will show you how to turn the corner and work into the sides of the row. Just make sure not to work in here which is in between your little V's. Okay so you'll work double crochet from the last row, chain space, single crochet. And don't work, don't work this whole double, chain space, single. So you'll work three stitches across each of those and you'll skip this right here and then when we get to the corner I said I'll show you how to turn the corner and then we'll go down the side okay I'm down to my last group of three stitches there and I'm going to work my corner into this chain one like I was working that's where I would work into at the end of every row so I'm going to go ahead and Working here, when every corner, what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet, chain one, and single crochet in the same space. Okay, this turns the corner nicely because the chains in the middle allows it to curl around. This is what I like uh, instead of using a three single crochet, I like to use that chain one in the middle. And now you're just going to work one single crochet in the side of each row. Okay, so first you'll see like a V here. You'll work into that. And then a smaller area. I love this one. I remember trying to pull it a little bit taller. So I have like a V and then the next space. After a few stitches, check to make sure that it's nice and even. This is, you can see that one stitch in each row is going to be fine. It's not curling or puckering at all. And so if you want help with how to make borders more even, I'll link the video below. There's a, I have a whole video on making perfect borders. Check that one out. If you like the look of this and you're ready to keep going, just keep working that single crochet all the way down to the next corner work that single crochet, chain one, single crochet in each corner all the way back to the very beginning. Okay, here we are back around to our first single crochet. So since this was a corner, we're going to single crochet, chain one, and slip stitch to join. And there's our round of single crochet for round one of the border. Now for round two, we're going to start right here in our corner space. And we're going to, I'm going to make a, you can chain three. I'm going to make a chainless double crochet where you raise it up to two times the height of the shaft. Pull the hook towards you and around, making sure to hold it tight with this index finger. Yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and draw up. 
and that gives you a chain list double crochet a chain three is perfectly fine here and then we'll double crochet in the same space skip the next two stitches and work a V stitch here which is a double crochet chain one and double crochet skip the next two work a V stitch double crochet chain one double crochet and repeat this all the way down to the end skipping two stitches in between each V stitch till you come to the corner okay now I've worked down this row here and I'm down to the corner so now I'm gonna work skip the next two just like we've been doing and I'm going to work two double crochet right here my yarn has got trapped by a blanket there we go so two double crochet chain one two more double crochet in the same space Should be the chain one space from your seal crochet round. Okay, and then we'll turn our corner and then we'll continue on each side the same way. Skipping two, working that V stitch in here, double chain one and double. Okay, so we'll repeat that. All the way down, skipping two, working a V stitch. When you get to the corner, make sure you work two double, chain one, two double in each corner until we get back around to the corner we started with. When you reach back to this first corner, we're going to work back in the same space that we worked our first two double crochet or your chain three and double crochet, depending upon what you worked. So we're working two double crochet here to match our two double crochet chain one two double crochet in the other corners okay, but instead of chaining one here we're going to half double crochet in the top of the turning chain or if you did what I did the, ch the chainless you're just going to work in here mine kind of got a little loose on the side there we go so I'm gonna work half double here in place of my chain space because we're gonna work our next round starting right here in this this would, would be have been a chain space so chain three or make a chainless double crochet right here and chain one and double crochet in this space okay now we are going to work a v-stitch in each v-stitch so find your first and yes we're gonna skip over all this part here and do the double chain one double okay, and it kind of looks weird now but we'll come back and we'll finish it up at the end so work a v-stitch in each v-stitch till we get to the corner 